What up, boys and girls? Today, we're talking about the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 review. I know you've seen some other ones before, but, well, let me just put some stuff in here that maybe you haven't heard. Let's not nitpick everything. Let's just get to the facts of what are in the game and what you might have missed. First off, I like to sit there and say, don't let other people's opinions when you go to their YouTube channel or wherever you may see their kind of game review. For example, other people's opinions is not like a Coke where you open it up and it happens to be butt crack flavor. You take a drink and you decide, well, this is not what I like. Of course, who likes butt crack flavor, right? This is a game. And as of right now, we just barely started it. It's only like going to be a week old. With that said, I'm just going to tell you the pros and the cons. I'll give you a pro, then I'll give you a con. That way you kind of hear both sides all at once. Kind of mix it up and sound a little bit better. The reason I do this also is because everybody's experiences is different from yours. My experience is not your experience and your experience is not my experience. We all come into Call of Duty at different times and in different stages throughout Call of Duty so it makes our experiences different and our thought process are going to be different as well. You really can't judge a game just by what you first play. You really kind of got to get the full effect and the only time you could have that full effect is unfortunately when the game is fully done. So let's go on down the list of the pros and the cons of Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Let's move on. So pro number one is zombies. I had to get it out there first, man, because this game mode is just so awesome. You can even level guns up really fast in zombies, faster than you can in multiplayer. All the perks, all the gobble gums, all the, everything that you could ever think of that made zombies great is in zombies this time. Plus, you don't have to worry about SBMM, EOMM in it, and that's always a plus. All right, con now. We're coming out the gate kind of hot. Bugs and crashes, packet loss and packet burst, latency. Oh my gosh, bro. They still haven't fixed this crap? The, the, when are they ever going to fix this crap, man? I, I, don't, I don't know about you guys, but it is kind of annoying. I'd say I'm putting this first on the cons because this one right here, I'm being hit with more than anything else. Other than, well, you know, just this one is bad. But it doesn't make it to the point where I, every single game is pretty much bent to the point where I can't play it. But still, it's a freaking annoying thing, especially in Modern Warfare 3. They never even fixed it in Invasion or Ground War. Let's move on. All right, next pro. I didn't know if this was a pro or a con, but I, I decided it's a pro right now. In the beta, it was more prevalent, but now that I play the game fully, I don't really see many people doing it. Omni movement. It's actually not overtaxed or overdone or very much abused yet. So it's a pro. It's actually something that gives us ex something extra to do and the unique way to get some kills and stuff. So this is a pro in my book. Next con, Cold War. Yeah, I say that because there are a lot of people don't really like that this game reminds me of Cold War, and that's the kind of vibe it gave me. But then you gotta also understand that in the middle ground, this game is supposed to model after Cold War, so it only makes sense for it to be like Cold War. But you know how people are. People don't always like the same flavor, and they like a little bit of change, so that's why it's a con. Next is Pro, and although some people might think it's a con, because it can be considered a con, I'm gonna say the Camel Grind. The Camel Grind is different. It really is different. For the most part, every gun is pretty much headshots. And then they got after that, you got little miscellaneous things to do. But for the most part, it's just mainly headshots. And Hardcore will take care of all that. Plus, the maps are small so with that. So make that mixed together, getting the camel grind is pretty much going to be a breeze compared to previous CODs. Next, a con. Spawns. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. So they never ever going to fix this, are they? The spawn system is just straight trash. It's almost as if they're trying to make it so that you don't really get nukes or actually get really good gameplay. As time has gone on from old Call of Duties, the spawn system has gotten worse. And the only thing I could think of is just be they do this on purpose. It feels like they do it on purpose only because of the fact that they just want the even amount of gameplay. You know, everybody going even. Yeah, spawns are butt crack in this game. Next pro is the classic prestige system. My gosh, man, have I been waiting for something like this for, well, I don't even know. What I do know is it's been missed. And since they brought it back, it's a lot better than the other one. It's not really a participation ribbon kind of thing anymore. And at least that makes it more diverse. And I like diversity. And you should too, because then it means you could just stop whenever you want. If you don't feel like you want to go any further, stop. Just don't prestige. And that in my book is a great pro. Next con is teammate collision. I don't know about you, man, but sometimes when you're running out there in team deathmatch, you tend to bump into your dang teammates all the dang time. Especially when you got somebody laying on the ground camping and you're trying to go through a doorway, you know, because he's trying to get them easy kills or the, maybe just the camel grind. 
my gosh, this stuff's kind of annoying. Why didn't they make it like Vanguard where you didn't have to bump into each other? I don't even understand this. It's something that's not broke. They don't have to fix it. What are you doing? Yeah, so let's move on with that one. Next Pro, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but the graphics are a lot better. Now I got a 4090 and a beefy PC. And I don't know, but Modern Warfare 3 wasn't as good as this game. For whatever reason, this game is looks amazing and I don't even have it on ultra settings. But unfortunately, this segues into my next con, which is, even if I did put it on ultra graphics, the con is, I can't see crap. After so much of a distance, I can't see who, where, the, what, what the, you know what I mean? That's how it feels. I feel like Joe Biden. I can't see crap. I mean, I know I'm a one-eyed gamer, but geez louise, at least that works part of the time. I don't know where the enemy's shooting me, and then when I go back and look for them, I can't see them, especially when they're head glitching. And this is kind of an issue that they've had in the past. Good graphics, and I still can't see nobody. Next pro is, they actually took Cold War and upgraded it. Black Ops feels like an upgraded version of Cold War, and I actually am a fan of it. Which is really rare for me to say because most of the time I just sit there and talk stuff about a game. And I'm glad to actually have an optimistic look at this game. The feel of it feels great, and I actually thought the Omni movement was going to be a terrible thing. Turns out it's actually not that bad. Next con, tracking system, or how they used to track the challenges. That was something they had in Modern Warfare 3 that whenever you wanted to track a certain challenge, you just quick click square, and you're able to track the challenge until you finished it. I actually used to like that system because I used to like to track camels and certain things that I was actually going for, and now it ain't here, and it kind of sucks. Now you have to go back, look in, go back, look in, you know what I mean? You gotta keep on going back and forth. That's gotta be really annoying. Next pro, and this, I don't know. I want to sit there and say that this may be just me. I don't know if it's just me or maybe it's just AI has been working overtime, but I haven't seen any cheaters. I see them on Twitter, but I haven't seen them in any of my games and that's freaking awesome. If they can keep going with this kind of thing and I've seen other people mention that they haven't seen cheaters, this will be freaking awesome. Hopefully when the Warzone gets implemented on the 14th, it'll keep full steam ahead because this is the, like one of the number one things that kill the game. Other than my next con that I'm going to seg segue into. And that's the dreaded S-B-M-M-E-O-M-M. -M -E now with the Omni movement, things are cranked to high heaven. It's so sweaty in some of these lobbies, like, wow, man, it's, you get off work, you just want to relax and, and yeah, no rest for the wicked. The wicked Call of Duty demons in here, because that's all I seem to be faced with. Makes you think of what other tactics can you use to get around S-B-M-M-E-O-M-M. -M -E I see a lot of streamers do it, and I, I, it's so tempting because, gosh, I don't want to be in these lobbies, bro. SBMMEOM is killing it. The next pro is not really a big pro. It's a small little minute thing. It brings pleasure to the eyes, so here's the pro. The colors. Yeah, I know. I said colors. It seems aesthetically pleasing to the eyes to actually see a little bit of more color, a little bit of more vibrance. I don't know about you, but I appreciate the color because the Modern Warfare style games, luckily, Modern Warfare 3 wasn't too bad, but... It's even better over here. I like the smooth colors where I could actually tell what the heck I'm looking at for the most part. Well, unless it comes to the enemies, of course. And for the next con, I really don't got one. But let me just tell you about another pro, theater mode. Theater mode is freaking awesome. As you can see, the first part of the thumbnail is actually made with theater mode because it's so awesome. I love to make thumbnails. I love to sit there and go and check out certain areas. I love to spectate the map. Like that was one thing I used to do all the time back in old Call of Duties. And I'm sure I missed a whole heck of a lot more, but guess what? I don't want to make this video too long, so please comment down below on what I missed, what you like, what you dislike, what's really high heaven annoying, and what do you think Call of Duty, aka Activision, could change in the future, because I really want to hear your input. So if you want to see more videos like this, hit the sub, hit the like, or if you want to just see me ride around on my e-bike and go fishing, join my second channel. It's the links down below. After all, I got to touch some grass, don't you?